Samsung just dropped their latest fan edition phone, the Galaxy S24 FE, and it's packed with some killer upgrades. But is it really worth your ardent cash? In this video, I'll be breaking down everything you need to know from the surprising AI features to the premium design touches and stick around because I'll also tell you why this budget-friendly phone might steal the spotlight from some of the other phones in the S24 line. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. But first, hi, I'm Captain Awesome. This is Geekception, and I really appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe as that really helps me out here on the channel. So let's kick things off first with build quality. The Samsung Galaxy S24 FE feels premium in the hand. No compromises here. It's got an aluminium frame, Gorilla Glass for durability, and it's IP68 rated for water and dust resistance. And as for the colors, the S24 FE comes in blue, mint, graphite, gray, and yellow. Sadly though, the yellow isn't available for us here in the Malaysian market. All right, let's take a quick tour of the phone. And on the front, you've got a 6.7 inch display with a 10 megapixel selfie camera right at the top there. Moving to the right side and you'll find the volume and power buttons. There's nothing on the left side. On the bottom, we've got dual microphones, a USB-C port and the speaker. And at the top, there's a SIM card tray and another set of microphones. On the back, we get the triple camera set up here, a 50 megapixel wide camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and an eight megapixel telephoto camera with three X optical zoom. Okay, so how does the S24 FE compared to the S23 FE from last year. Let's break down the key differences, starting with the display. The S24 FE now has a larger 6.7 inch screen compared to the 6.5 inch on the S23 FE. Next, the processor. And the S24 FE here runs on the latest Exynos 2400E processor, while the S23 FE had the older Exynos 2200 here in Malaysia. Now, what is cool is that on the S24 FE, the Exynos processor in it is the same one found on the S24 and S24 Pluses here in Malaysia. Even though, yes, it's an E variant, which means that it's slightly underclocked. But you know what? Still a flagship processor nonetheless. And a major difference here is that when the S23 FE launched, it actually used a year-old processor. But this time, we get the latest stuff. The RAM? Well, no changes here. We're still at 8GB and honestly, I would have loved to see a 12GB update here. Especially since, in my experience, the S23 FE had some lags, especially with heavier use. I'm just hoping... I'm praying that, you know, the processor upgrade here is good enough for performance. Battery life also gets a small boost here with a 4,700 mAh battery in the S24 FE compared to 4,500 mAh on the S23 FE. Cooling has also been improved with a larger vapor chamber in the S24 FE, which would help with performance during long gaming sessions or just heavier use. And this is a big deal for me because on the S23 FE, I remember having some overheating issues and definitely I think this should improve that here. Which reminds me of the upgrade Samsung made from the Flip 5 to the Flip 6, which has gotten so much better when it comes to cooling. And lastly, software upgrades. Now, with the S23 FE, we only got four years of OS updates and five years of security updates. But now with the S24 FE, we are getting seven years of both software upgrades and, of course, security upgrades as well, which is massive. And as I always say with all my Samsung videos, this is like a major differentiator that I think many people do not appreciate enough. Because yes, in seven years, you're still going to be getting updates for this phone, which is crucial. Next, let's talk Galaxy AI, which is one of the biggest selling points for the S24 FE. Now, according to Samsung, you get the full Galaxy AI experience at a more affordable price point. But if you've been keeping up, then the S23 FE also got the One UI 6.1 upgrade with Galaxy AI. So what gives? Well, here is where the S24 FE goes further. Because you actually get access to the full suite of over 29 AI features, such as live translate, which you can use to translate face-to-face -face conversations, especially offline, AI tools for photos, with integrated gallery tools for remastering, recompositing, portrait studio directly in the gallery app, AI enhanced transcripts, so you can record your voice notes and generate transcripts on the fly. And my personal favorite, Circle to search, allowing you to search, translate, or even find music based on the screen content with just a circle gesture. There's also a dedicated Galaxy AI section in the settings to manage and explore all the AI features present on the S24 FE. My most exciting part is next, which are the cameras. Now the S24 FE comes with a triple camera setup here, a 50 megapixel wide camera that lets you switch between 12 megapixel by default, or a 50 megapixel high res mode, a 0.6x ultra wide camera, and a 3x optical zoom telephoto camera. When it comes to video, the S24 FE FE supports UHD 60 FPS recording and even 8K recording at 30 frames per second. And as expected from Samsung, you get all the other creative modes like hyperlapse, portrait video, and night modes. Okay, so after all of this, where does the S24 FE fit in Samsung's lineup? Well, if we're comparing it to the S23 FE, the S24 FE has some solid upgrades here, including the larger display, improved battery, and updated processor. And most importantly, the cooling improvements with the vapor chamber is massive for just preventing overheating. And let's Let's not also forget all of the Galaxy AI stuff you're going to be getting. Now versus all the S24 series phones,
phones and it sits right between the S24 and the S24 Plus. And although it's a slightly underclocked Exynos 2400E, it should handle most tasks smoothly. The real difference here though, lies in the RAM. Where the S24 FE sticks with 8 gigs of RAM, compared to the 12 gigs you're going to be getting on the S24 Plus. But also the positioning of the S24 FE is that it's the most affordable phone with all the Galaxy AI features. And overall, my first impressions were pretty positive for the S24 FE. The build quality here feels premium and the improved cooling is a big plus, especially for someone like me who experienced so much overheating with the S23 FE. The display is bright, sharp, and the larger size will make media consumption, of course, more immersive. And of course, it's got all the Galaxy AI features, which means there's bound to be one that you're going to use at least. But that said, I really do wish they bumped up the RAM because I also experienced some lag with the S23 FE, though again, I have not used it extensively, so I don't know how it's going to fare in everyday life yet. And I'm surprising I didn't get any price at my hands-on session, but the moment I find out, I'll put that in the comments down there below. So, is the S23 FE for you? First and foremost, the price. And for many of you, well, including myself, this is going to be the biggest consideration. And while a new phone is great, believe me, I also like getting new stuff, there might be several options in the used market first to consider. But also, since we are considering, with the S24 FE, there is you know, the bigger screen, there is the bigger battery, there is the you know bigger vapor cooling chamber here on the S24 FE. And if those upgrades are worth it for you, especially with that premium build quality then, I would say go for it. Or maybe even consider something like the A55, which I also shot a video. It should also be live. Make sure you check it out on the channel as well. But yes, that has been it for my hands-on session with the S24 FE. I hope I've been able to you know, give you some of my opinions, some of the things I saw when I had the hands-on, and as much as possible, try to compare it to last year's S23 FE as well. So if you really liked and enjoyed it, please don't forget, leave that like there, leave a comment down there below, subscribe so you don't miss any of my future stuff. And if you want to support me, you want to buy me a cup of coffee, you want to you know, subscribe here on YouTube, I would really appreciate all of those things as it really goes into helping me here on the channel and doing all of these wonderful things here that I do. Well, it has been a pleasure doing this for you. A huge thank you to making it all the way to the end of this video. Text me when you get home so I know you got home safe. I've been a captain of awesome. This is Geekception and I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to stay awesome. Bye. All right, congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now, um, yeah, it's about almost 2 a.m. right now. I'm just about to like, you know, start finishing the color grading before I then upload it to YouTube. But, you know, I'm introducing this section at the end just for people who make it all the way here, even if it's just like one person. Um, thank you so much for watching the video. I really enjoy putting this together. It's taking me time, but, you know, I was supposed to meet the deadline for the, you know, release of the, of this phone but you know as much as i tried my best you know i just couldn't compromise on a few things such as you know the quality of what i want you know my script especially going back to my s23 fe you know looking at my review notes looking at some of the things that i felt at the time when i made that video and then comparing it to all of the things that we are getting on the s24 fe so yeah these are some of the things that um you know i had to do first before i then made the video and even when i went there i think i only had like two hours of hands-on time with the phone and i made two videos so there's another video coming up i think i will go to bed um you know and then start editing it tomorrow and probably publish it tomorrow but yeah i'm excited for that as well it's with the galaxy a55 so yeah lots of fun stuff but um yeah so wherever you're watching in the world let me know what you're doing um use hashtag awesome end so i know you made it all the way to the end of the video and i'll catch you in the next one i really really love you i really appreciate you especially you that you are here right now so take care of yourself and i'll see you in the next one bye